Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Yumi channel. Today we are back with the latest LEGO news for 2023 and 2024. Now of course, before we begin the video, I just want to say that if you do enjoy, then make sure to subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Links will be in the description below. But with that being said, everyone, let's get right into it. So first off, we will be taking a look at the official pictures for some brand new LEGO Goodwill purchases that we will be seeing for this month in October. And the first one we have is set 40659, the mini Steamboat Willy. This will be a LEGO Disney 100 years promo recommended for ages 9 and over. And in order to get this, you have to spend $100 or more starting from the 23rd of October on lego disney sets so that will include disney 100 years normal disney sets as well as marvel and star wars i think it's really great that lego are allowing you to buy marvel and star wars sets as they are classed under the disney lineup um as the last promo that they did for disney with the 100 years mickey mouse celebration one you had to buy only specifically disney animated sets which was quite unfortunate you know so you couldn't buy any marvel or star wars sets in order to get that However, I think that the fact that they've opened the option up to buy those themes as well is really good. And I think that a lot of people will definitely try and get this promo. The fact that they've done that as well, I think this will probably sell out really, really fast. I think a lot of people will end up trying to get this one as soon as possible. I know me personally, myself, I will probably be buying some Star Wars sets in order to get this uh, promo. So definitely looking forward to getting that. Uh, but I think that the actual Steamboat Willie itself looks really good. Obviously, it's not as good as the uh, Ideas one. However, that was a lot bigger. That was about £100 that set when it came out originally. Um, so obviously it had about 900 pieces and was a lot bigger than this one, of course. That only includes about 200. But I think that the scaling is quite decent for the amount of pieces that you get. And the fact that it's a gift with purchase as well. Um, I think LEGO did a really good job with it. The shaping is really nice. It does also come with that play feature as well where you can actually move the top parts up and down, uh, which I think is really, really cool. And I think that the actual uh, boat steamed, um, Steamboat Willy scales really, really nicely alongside Mickey Mouse there. Now you do actually get that one Mickey Mouse minifigure and that is the vintage one. Unfortunately, they didn't include Minnie Mouse. I think that would have made the set a lot better. However, it is a promo set, so I wasn't really expecting it. They don't usually ever include more than one minifigure in a promo. In fact, we're lucky that we're getting any minifigure because uh, you know there are some promos that lego do release that do have no minifigures such as star wars ones and such so really i'm happy about that but the mickey mouse minifigure is nothing special um it's actually a downgrade because the uh, legs aren't as detailed they don't have the dual model legs on this minifigure which is quite unfortunate however we have seen quite a few renditions of this figure in the disney cmf series 2 the original steamboat willie as well as in the Disney camera set, you can actually get this minifigure as well. However, it doesn't come with a hat piece. Um, however, this one does. And then we also have set 40597, and this is the Lego Creator uh, Pirate Scary House. Uh, this is recommended for ages eight and over, and you get one minifigure as, as well in the set, and that is the pirate minifigure, which looks pretty good. Um, and then you do also get this like cave structure as well, which looks quite nice, honestly. Um, I think that this is a really nice Halloween based set, of course. Love the uh, backdrop as well in the background with the, uh, the full moon there. And you do have all the bats and stuff surrounding it. Uh, there are some bats also included in this set as well, which is quite nice. Uh, but you do sort of get like a bit of a tower where you can put the pirate. And then there's like a bit of a um, sort of like a cave uh, build, which looks like a shark from the lifestyle pictures, which was uh, seen just a little bit. Or, you know, it's a very unique set, something that we've never really seen before. And you do also get like a little boat as well, which is really nice there. I love the addition with that. But I think this is a really nice one. And in order to get this, you need to spend $130 or over. And it can be on any Lego theme. Here's the lifestyle picture. As you can see, the cave does sort of look like a shark there, especially with those white pieces representing the teeth. Um, I think it's a pretty clever building technique here. I think it looks quite good. Um, overall, definitely really happy with this one. I think the key for the purchases this month have been quite good so far. And for those of you who uh, don't know, uh, there will be a new LEGO special uh, streaming on Peacock on October 10th. And that is LEGO Jurassic World, the unofficial retelling. Uh, they did release a trailer for this. I don't think I can show it in this video because I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, however, you can check that out. It is actually on YouTube. Honestly, it does look pretty decent. The animation looks quite good. Uh, the voices, I will say, aren't the, are the best because they don't use the original cast or anything like that. Um, and they don't even use voices that sound similar to the original cast. But besides that, the rest of it looks quite good. And here's actually a first look at LEGO Fortnite. So uh, this was actually revealed on the LEGO Instructions page. 
and this is actually going to be a brand new lego poly bag that will be coming out i'm not really sure how you'll be able to get it i think it will be like a promotional poly bag um and it is of the Fortnite alarm which looks quite good and then we also have some information regarding set 76280 the spider-man no way home spider-man vs sunman final battle set this will be a 35 dollars set uh with 347 pieces um and it will include a brick built sandman and you will be getting three minifigures being spider-man and electro both being reuses from the previous spider-man final battle set that we saw earlier this year um and then we will also be getting lizard as well which is of course going to be the new minifigure in the set i think a lot of people will just buy the set for the lizard because this is going to be the first time that we're getting him in lego form really glad that they're not actually skipping him out as a lot of people were really, really upset that we didn't get him in the final battle that came out for spider-man no way home earlier this year and he will actually use the tail piece from the lego series uh 24 um t-rex suit guy minifigure so i think that's a pretty decent part used there not really sure about the legs um i can see them doing the demi gorgon legs i think that would definitely make sense for them to do so however i feel like if they were going to do that it would have definitely been stated here uh but yeah really interested to see how that minifigure looks honestly uh but yeah quite excited for this one i think a lot of people will definitely be hyped for this um but it makes me wonder why they didn't just include the lizard and the brick built sandman in the previous set uh the previous final battle set as you do have to buy two to make the full final battle however it is only 35 pounds or 35 dollars so you know it isn't going to really be too much of a big deal for a lot of people it's not a really expensive set so i do really appreciate lego you know not putting this lizard minifigure in a really expensive set and putting it in a cheap one for everybody to obtain uh and moving on we actually have some information regarding some brand new lego icon set so first off we have set 10332 and this is the medieval town center it will include 3304 pieces and will be releasing for early of 2024 and this was actually one of the sets that leaked on the survey uh in february and this set actually is now rumored to have 104 more pieces than it was originally on the survey which is great so lego have actually gone back and modified all these icon sets and the ones that were also shown in the survey such as the marvel ones and such as well um and i've added more pieces and such and have made them look better so this won't look exactly the same as the ones that we saw from the survey it will be a lot better and there will be a lot more modifications which i really do appreciate from lego we also have finally our confirmation as to what the new lego modular building set is going to be this will be releasing for january 1st of 2024 being set 10326 returning for 300 dollars with uh 4014 pieces and seven minifigures and it will be a national history museum which is very exciting and then we will also be seeing in 2024 set 43242 snow white and the seven dwarfs cottage uh i'm not sure when this will release in 2024 i assume early 2024 as we've heard about this set now um however it definitely will be releasing next year which i'm really excited for uh the images that we saw from the survey made the set look really really good the set had some really cool minifigures obviously including all the dwarves and snow white herself who does appear in the disney castle uh so that isn't going to be an exclusive minifigure however the actual cottage itself looked really really good i loved all of the shaping and everything there as well and the fact that they've modified the village assume uh, assumes that they probably will modify the uh, cottage as well um and then of course we did get a teaser yesterday for lego animal crossing which is very exciting i know a lot of people have been extremely excited for this theme for a while now and obviously when it did initially get rumored a lot of people uh did not believe that it was true but there's actually a first look at the theme here and they've actually showed us all the minifigures and i will say these are very interesting now i think it is a bit sad that animal crossing is getting uh, minifigures before mario because mario is definitely a lot more popular than animal crossing um the fact that we haven't got lego mario minifigures yet is really unfortunate um but the fact that now we have these animal crossing minifigures i assume that lego you know have the rights now to do mario i'm hoping that soon they might make mario minifigures because we know that by the end of this year the mario theme will be getting discontinued um so hopefully you know they do end up rebooting the theme or something and giving us mario minifigures in the uh, next few years these animal crossing minifigures look absolutely incredible love the uh the new exclusive molds and stuff that they've introduced for all the characters um i think that these are really really cool and are definitely minifigures that i would love to add to my collection i really am a massive fan of collecting like animated minifigures and minifigures with exclusive molds and such so these will definitely be a really nice fit such so as like the looney tunes minifigures the disney ones um some of the dimensions ones like the powerpuff girls and such 
Uh, I really do like those sort of mini figures. And then we do also get a bit of a look at uh, what the bills are going to be like as well. Uh, you can see in the background, you do have the trees. Um, and you can see they have pretty simple builds, which look too simple in my opinion. I'm really hoping that this isn't a 4 plus theme or anything like that. I don't think, I don't think they will do it as a 4 plus theme. Uh, but we're going to have to wait and see for that. But with that being said, everyone, this is the end of the video. If you enjoy it, then why not subscribe as well as like the video and turn on notifications as well as follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Links will be in the description below. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about all of the LEGO news we've covered in today's video. Are you excited for the new sets releasing in 2024? I'll talk to you guys soon. So peace out. See you later. And bye bye.